Now we have a group of four surahs, the warning surahs. The common, you know, subject is warning of the Day of Judgment. Most impressive. And this surah, you know, Surah al Zizal, the Prophet has said it is equal to 1,000 ayat. That is nearly one-sixth of the Qur'an. al adiyat and this is the last and the final and the fifth surah of this style. وَصَّافَّاتِ صَفَّنْ وَزَارِيَاتِ زَرْوَنْ وَالْمُرْسَلَاتِ عُرْفَنْ وَالْنَازِيَاتِ غَرْقَنْ And this, وَالْعَادِيَاتِ دَبَعْنْ And this is the, the consensus that these ayat denote, this only one oath, ayat are five, but the oath is one. And it relates to the horses. The Arabs use these horses for their internal warfare, especially when they had to go and attack some tribe during the night or the small hours of the morning and plundering and looting and then running back. So they needed swift, you know, some camel who can move them. So what these horses were doing for them, they had no enmity with, with anybody, but only due to the command of their masters, they were taking all these hardships on them. Even when there was fighting, some arrow could have come and pierced the neck of the horse, and the horse is dead. For whom is he is fighting? It's none of his business, it's none of his war. But he is faithful, faithful to his master. The master only looks after him, feeds the horse, looks after her, him. Only that much. Now the man should look. Is he also faithful to his Lord? Who created him? Who is giving him every need, fulfilling all the need? But are we faithful? No. So this is a reference. By the charging horses, steeds, who run, snorting and panting for breath. Then they strike sparks of fire with their hooves and they run, you know, the iron attached to their hooves and it collides with the pebbles and stones, the spark. And then they raise, raid. Raiding at the dawn. And when they run, they raise a cloud of dust. Now this is a picture of the horses. And then they penetrate into the thickest part of the host of the enemy, taking the worst risk. Look to this horse. And look to yourself. Verily, man is ungrateful to his Lord. And he himself is a witness to it. Only if he <coughs> sees down, peeps down his heart. And he is vehemently in love for the wealth of this world. Does he not know? When the graves will be overturned and excavated out, whatever will be in them. And that which is in the hearts will be brought out and made manifest. Verily your Lord on that day is well aware of them. This is a big threat. Allah knows everything that you did. So we should say, Allahumma hasibna hisaban yaseera. Oh Allah from us, you take the reckoning with ease.